like it, like it, like it, like it. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Hey, annyeonghaseyo! Ajus team na da! So for today's video, since hindi ako masyado nakapag-vlog in Seoul, Korea, kasi technically ang ginawa lang namin puro shopping, I am gonna share with you guys 5 things to do in Seoul, Korea if you're a big, big K-pop fan. Alright? Okay, so I'll share snippets of my whole trip throughout this video. And if you like this video, or like if you want more content of like how to be a K-pop stan and all that stuff, kapag if you're a Filipino, Filipino Korea boo like me, shout out. <laughs> or a Filipino who wants to do stuff on like in Korea or like basta. So the first thing that you do if you're a K-pop stan and you're planning to go to Korea is, of course, number one, buy merch. For example. BTS, ugh, BTS, crazy. BTS has this slide partnership, BT21, like this shirt, BT21. But anyways, as in, in the line store, insert video here. Look at all the BT21 stuff, my gulay. This is why we're poor in this country. Okay, so I found myself in Lotte Youth Plaza Yata. And look, there's like a lot of basic merch. And twice merch. Whoa, twice. Uh. I'll tour you guys around this area. Because I didn't know this thing existed until today. Ooh, they have albums also. Look, there's a sign for Oh my god, guys, it's Jin Young. Wow. There's a photo book in Jeju exhibit. Pop-up store, it's like pop-up. Crazy. Jin Young. <laughs> you can hurt it. <laughs> I'll share with you guys. I actually brought this from the Philippines. I bought it before, but I have a neck pillow that's cookie. It's from Line also. I also bought like uh, ooh, a cookie pillow. Wah, cookie, 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 cookie. And then I also have an AirPods case that's cookie. As you can see, brandy ko po talaga. I cook puro cookie everywhere. And then, can I just say in Korea, like one out of ten people, one out of ten persons in Korea has AirPods. Like, di ko lang kung bakit, pero uso uso yung AirPods. Din. So, yun. So, if you in Korea, go to Line Store or like buy merch. Buy. Buy merch. Number two. So, for the second thing that you do if you're a K pop stand in Korea, go to the restaurant that these like. Idols go to. So we, what we did, we went to Yujong uh, Shikdang. It's the restaurant that pinapuntahan palagi ng BTS nung dante nung luma pa yung building na big hit. So parang in this experience, like, uh, bakit yung masarap food nila? So, uh, here, this is the restaurant Yujong Shikdang. So if you guys wanna eat BTS inspired food, go here. <laughs> So today we're in Yujong Siktang and then this is where they ate the no trainee days. Nila. Trainee days nila, and, and as they you can were see, and BDS merch everywhere. Parang yung buong branding ng store nito. BDS. Go na ikaw, share. Okay, nandito na yung mga food dumps. So there's soup, kimchi of course, also rice there. And before. So let's see kung masarap ba itetch. Let's eat it with rice. Mashi so. But actually, yeah, masarap nga food nila doon. And then, you can see na the whole area is filled with BDS stuff like crazy. As in, everywhere is just full of BDS stuff. So, you know, yun yung main proposition niya. But it, the food is also good and mura lang siya. It's like 9,000, 9,000 won per person. So that's like 450 pesos. Per, that's a, like a meal na hindi nga namin na ubos eh, kasi so namin. So yun, here's also a list of other stuff na other like places na you can go to if you're a BTS stand. Jin's restaurant or laundry pizza here. These are like genuinely BTS neighborhoods, you know? Number three, go to the entertainment companies. So, 
we search Google <laughs> and then we found it. New building! And then when we went to the new building, it's like, huh, this is that? And then this is the video of Kring Kim, that this is the building. Na. And then we met up with two Austrian armies there also. And then parang, the security guard told us na parang, oh, read the sign that's the uh, front of the building. And then we read it and then parang, oh, they already went sila to a temporary office. So we went to that temporary office. And then what we found out was like, Wala, it's normal. Wala nga nakalagay na big hit or anything. So like, nothing. <laughs> nothing. So that's sad. But I think it's just a, like, in this time lang, nagkataon lang na wala kasi mga schedule or anything. Ganyan. Kaya ganun. After big hit, we went to JYP. Insert the dude here. So this is Soul Shop. It's right below the JYP building. As you can see, may JYP sa taas. So it's near the Olympic. Stadium. It's this is the Olympic Stadium, and you have to take a bus to get here, cause Malayu siya. So yeah, get each other pictures. And then you can hear fancy, fancy. No, naya fancy. So kaniya pa mina dito. And na ubus ko na yung pagkain ko. Even though it was kinda mahal, three hundred pesos siya for ice cream, like ooh. But kapag ding intay ka, bakakame makita ka. So. We will see because part of my friend saw like stray kids before here. Then said the hobo. There now, walang tao. Usually, because there are people here, JYP employees, as in you'll see them around. They also be bring food here. But yeah, those guys, oh look, they're sexy. I'm so excited to watch them. Sorry, walang vlog for my solo trip. Cause wala lang. But my Busan, I will vlog it. See you now when I come on a few moments later. Oh my god, that was Changbin. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. As in, we're going to be out of here. And that is it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so shocked. As in, we were talking about it earlier. Why? Where are they going? Are they going to the front door or the front door? And then... It's a hidden garage. Of course, they don't want to go out. As you can see guys, that's it. That's the back entrance of JYP. And then they have a basement parking. So, we can't see it. I don't understand. Then, suddenly, there's a mask out. And I was like, shoot, who's that? Maybe he's training. Maybe he's training. And then, when he came to us, I was like, shit. I saw his face like, frick, it's Changbin. We're so close, guys. We're so close. As in, we cross paths. 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 Is it gumon nung talaga? Okay, so ready na kami. Hindi kami alis dito. Kita alis dito. I saw Changbin of Stray Kids as in my god! I think this is what you guys should do. I think lucky lang kami. Cause nagkato na nung palis na kami, dumaan siya. One tip for you guys is tambay kayo sa Seoul, what do you call this? Sa Seoul Cup. And then usually, because some idols or like employees like hang out there, so I also saw like a video, not video, I mean a photo of like Sana and Nayon drinking coffee there. If you have time and you're not gonna do anything, naman, might as well go to Soul Cafe and enjoy, and might as well makamahanap nyo and makita nyo idol nyo. Tip number two: these idols like going through the back door. I don't don't tambay near the back door. So if nagkato na palis kayo, make sure that you check the back door muna. As in. Uh, when you get out of JYP, go to the other street and then near the garage, you say, Maraming dumadaan dun na ka mga Sophie ko, you know na that's like a trainee or something, or an idol. I'm not a sesa, I'm just saying, if you wanna see your idol, this is like one way to do it. Number four, watch music shows. That is something that we did not do. To be fair, I tried to watch music shows. Like, first, I tried to go to SM Global to buy tickets for M Countdown, but na ubus na nang ticket. Asin four minutes palang tagit since nag open na ubus na nang ticket for M Countdown. And sayang kasi X One was supposed to be there. X One, ah, but wala. So okay, fine. So the next day we were supposed to go to KBS to do the ways to work thing. So parang this is where the idols like go off the car and then walk going to work going to the kbs broadcasting station and then you guys can take pictures like paparazzi shots and all that stuff so that's really really intense because people line up like 11 p.m the day before just to get a nice spot because 7 a.m 
umaga yung boom ko. This happens every single Friday. So, if you guys wanna go, go to KBS. I recommend watching this video. It's by Nessie. This is very informative if you wanna try to do that. But, I only wanted to do that because I wanted to see X1. So, when I was about to wake up, I searched Twitter like, parang, oh, who's gonna be a part of KBS? And then, X1 is not going. I'm like, never mind then. I'm not gonna go to KBS na. And then, after a while, as in, noon 7am na, noon no, was na yung pictures, nakita namin na parang, oh my god, it's Sunmi. It's Red Velvet. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> Sayo, we should've gone. Lesson learned, if you're here in Korea, just go for it. Like, even if you don't know who's part, who's going to like a music show, just freaking go. Cause sayang nila man ang chance mo makita sila. For my fifth final, final uh, tip for you guys: watch a freaking concert. Duh, you're here now. Might as well freaking watch a concert. To be fair, nag extend pa ako cause I really wanted to watch Day Six. And for me, super sulit cause I got to touch Tone's hand and. Super intense. As in, different experience ng Korea concert. As in, even though mas maingay ang mga Pinoy, parang mas maayos supposedly ang Koreans. Like, nakalagay nga dun sa likod ng banner na, na please do not sing along with the band or something like that. Parang they like na yung fan chants lang yung prino project nila. So, I guess it's a culture thing, so I don't know. You guys should just check out my video on my Busan trip to know more about like my concert experience and watching day six. So, yun, so those are the five things that you do if you're in Korea. First, buy merch. Two, go to like the restaurants they go to. Three, go to the entertainment companies. Four, go to music shows. And five, watch concerts. So, yun. So if you like this video and you find this very informative or anything, if you have anything about this video. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you want to see more of me and comment down below of what you want me to do next. You complete me because you are the Joshi to my agile sheet. So with that, sana hit high five. Annyeong! Bye guys! See you next time. May pag giveaway din po ako after this. Bye! Yeah, you know.